In this video, we're going to have a look at creating a separate sidechain trigger track just to really simplify things and help once you start arranging a track. To give you an example of why, I'll just quickly show you what happens. So, for example, if you've got a breakdown or an intro or outro where you want the kick to drop out, which is really common in electronic music or dance music, then what happens is if we set this kick, well, we've just set it here to post mixer, then you can see what happens is the sound gets louder and it's no longer pumping. Now, in some cases that might be fine and you might be okay with that, but if we look at the alternative and instead change that back to just the kick, you can hear it's still pumping even when we drop the kick out. Now, we could just automate this on-off button and record those changes in, but I've found generally that's quite a pain to do when you're arranging a track. What you're more likely to do is just stop the clip for that section or delete clips or change the length of clips because it's a lot easier to do when you're arranging. It's really fiddly to have to bring the on-off button in and out with automation. So what we'll do is... Instead of creating a track, actually, what I will do is duplicate the kick that we're already using, just because it's the easiest way to do it in this situation. And what I might do is just actually duplicate the kick inside this rack, and then drag it outside of that rack. So just put it over maybe here. So that one is still there. So that's the one that we're going to hear in the mix. Whereas this one here is going to be the sidechain trigger. So I'm going to rename that. I'll just call it sidechain. And I'll give that another color just to help see. And then turn the track off. And now we set the bus track to receive on that sidechain track. And post effects is fine because it's still before the mixer. So it's not going to be affected by this button here. So now. You can see that the side chaining effect is still going even when we mute that track. So, like I said, it's probably more going to be in the situations like this where you actually stop the clip. Okay, thanks for watching. 